Hello there, Alda here. Today I am going to play some Moira. And I am still on my old computer for now, uh, until I get some problems fixed out with my newer computer. Let's see what these, these, you, you are. You're a handsome young lad there, boy. I'm very proud of your offset suspenders and your 2D graphics. Did you follow? Uh, oh. I cannot come between this boy and his mother. It's only proper. Stop looking at me. Uh, stop looking at me. What do you want, priest? My prayers go out to poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't seen... Hasn't been seen all day. I imagine she is grieving. Do you mind visiting her at her home? It's the house to the right as you leave town. Thank you, priest. Mother. Did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. Oh, that's sad. I n would never let my boys out of my sight. You one of her boys? You one of her boys, too? Yeah. Ma'am, did you name your blonde son girl? That seems improperly rude. Sometimes Daddy lets us pat the sheep on the head. They're so soft. The sheep are demons. Ask the priest he knows. What do you have to say, boy? No! Fuck you, mother. Need to stay close to mama. Otherwise, you'll worry we've wandered off. Alright, let's, let's blow this popsicle stand. Let's go check out what's her face is home. That, that is a barn. These are sheep. I would like to poke the sheep. <laughs> There's the sheep sound. Do you think any other sound, sheep? Oh! I don't... That was a different sheep. Uh. <laughs> oh no, that's a third sheep. Oh my god, that's hideous. Oh my god. <laughs> Only sin. Only sin can happen there. What's up, Biggin? Oh, picked up lantern. Oh my god, look how tiny my my hand is. But it's so realistic. My brother and I were chopping wood when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went to investigate. He should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check out on him? There's a lantern behind me. It's not behind you no more. It's in my hand. Give me the axe. Can't take the axe. Is that the cave? That's the cave. But I'm supposed to go check on... to the cave. I'm supposed to go check on... what's-her-face. Farm. I'm supposed to go check on what's-her-face. Her evil demon sheep. The door is locked. Okay. Okay. Can't can't do the book. Okay. Uh, let me go to the cave. Maybe she's in the cave. Maybe she's taking the sheep to the cave to do things. Things and stuff. Oh, this looks hello. Hey, come over here. Did my brother send you? Yes, bless him. The moans are coming from further down. I'd go, but my sight's no good. You should take it, this knife. Who knows you may need it. Oh, that's comforting. Well, how the hell do I use the knife? I'd like to use it, please. At least this isn't Call of Cthulhu. Oh, hello. Apparently I have WASD. Alrighty. Oh, and I can strafe with WASD. Sweet. Jesus. Can I, I can't. I wish I could look around, though. Alright. Wish I knew how to attack. Uh, you know, you could... I'm just gonna say, you could leave this cave at any time. Like, you could leave the cave... The entrance is right there. Alright. Alright, something tells me this is a maze, so I'm going to use my old technique of always go left. This... As left as you can. 
and you will never be lost. Look at bones. Someone must have died here. The bones look as though they are a child's. Oh, that's not good. I can see something shiny. It's just out of my reach. Hmm, maybe I could use the knife or a bone to get it. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually easier to use the arrow keys in this instance. Which is a little bit off-putting for me. And I don't like being off-putting. I love pudding. Alright, now only right. Hello. I don't know who you are. But hello. Ah, I can't. Uh, God damn you, no strafe. Strafe! God damn it, I'm doing a thing. I'm doing a thing! Please! Shush! 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 What's that? Is that an altar? Is that a book? I don't approve of books. What are all these... What are all these lines? Is this how long this rat's been in here? You've been in prison for far too long. This maze is way too easy for you been to be in, stuck in here for this long. A fishing hook? These are some tools leaning against the wall. It looks as though they've been used to mark carvings into the wall. Look at two. Okay, I've already done that. No! God damn it. Look at the book. Don't approve of books. There is a book on top of this pedestal. It's labeled Farmers. There's a list of names inside. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that, that, that took a turn. Um, it's the name of farmers, I guess. Like, this took a turn from creepy to freaking Enchan. I can't say the name. There's rules that you have to abide. Uh, I'd like to learn how to use this knife, please! Alright, I, I wanna... No, I don't! No, God damn it! I want to, to use the knife. Huh? Huh? Hello? Hi. A, far a farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Why do you have a knife? I heard moans. What have What have you done? Uh, I guess let them pass. All right, I will let you go. Where the hell are you going, though? Are you gonna go kill the brother? Should I have knifed you? Is the brother dead? You didn't see anyone come past here. That means he's... What the fuck? What is this game? Did he go write in his very rude book? This is why I don't like books. They only pr possess bad things. Maybe he's at the hole burying the child's bones. Like he should be. Maybe he has a sheep and that's what, what, what he's moaning about. That is gross. Oh, is that blood on the floor? Nope, that is nothing. I I don't know how the hell I got here, but I got here. Oh, I am not doing good in that travel. Okay, he's not there either. He just fucking disappeared. He probably went and murdered everybody in town. I probably should have just knifed him in the belly, but he was a farmer, you know. All right, fuck it. Okay. Oh god, my finger. Oh, why is my finger itch? My finger itches for the blood of my enemies. Like that rat. Oh god, my throat hurts too much to do that voice. Those aren't moans, those are sobs. Okay, itchy, itchy, itchy finger. Okay, better. Those aren't moans, those are sobs. How are you doing, lady? Hark! Please help, I'm in a lot of pain. That's not even a lady, that's just a man. A man in a nightgown. I came here to end my life. My name is Julia. That is a female. I lied, I apologize. And I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband 
was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold, and then one day he found something. He found a golden nugget. I thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives. I should be acting these out. But he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget to spite me. Then he disappeared. Everyone in town heard about our good fortune. Hello, Ace. Yes, go, go eat dinner. Why is everybody talking to me right now? I'm gonna have to cut all this out. Maybe, I don't know. Please, Facebook, thank you for interrupting my game. I appreciate you. Everyone in town heard about our good fortune. They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day, my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better. But he never came out of the cave. Your child is terrible at mazes. This maze is incredibly easy. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. Now I have nobody. Will you help me? Will you end my life? Oh. Oh, this just got really heavy. Why... Like, you have a book that says, oh, yes, oh, okay, that was, oh, oh, no, now he's gonna, okay, it's weird that you move when I move still, and I don't like that, okay. And who the fuck was the farmer? Oh, is that your husband? The ghost of your husband or something? Or was that just your husband? Oh, I could have been... Hello! Hi, farmer! Hey, farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? No reason. Why do you have a knife? You know... Things... Whatever I heard moans. What have you done? Sheep. Let me see what. Let me see what will happen to you. And what? And that is where the story shall end, at least for now. It is up to you, to the next player of this game, to choose your fate. Just have you chosen the fate of the previous player? Enter your first name. What? What is this? What is what is this? Alder. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna blur that over. You will be emailed about your fate. Thank you for playing. What? And it just closes. What? I guess if somebody sees this video, please um continue playing it for me so that I can continue. Cause the fuck, I, if, uh, the fuck indeed. Um, maybe I will. Maybe I will write to one of those three people that just wrote to me and see if I can't get them to continue this thing. Cause I've only been playing for about thirteen minutes. Yeah. That's pretty cool, though. I like games that are um, determined based on how other people interact with you. That's really cool. I'm going to I'm gonna have to update you guys with what actually happens. Uh, anyways, I guess I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Uh, please let me know what you guys think thought of this video down below. Also, this game's free. You can just find it on Steam. It's called Moira? Moira? Moira, Moira, Moira. Uh, it's free, and you can find it down on down in Steam. And I will talk to you guys in the next episode. And always remember, if you're walking down the hallway and a farmer approaches you covered in blood with a knife, just let him pass, because that could be me. And you never know what's truly going to happen. Yes. That. Alright, so I just got an email from, uh, well, well from Gmail, from the game that, uh, from the game that I was playing, Moira, 
Uh, and I'll be adding this at the end of the video because it's awesome. Uh, as you as you left the cave, you were confronted by a farmer called Michael. They asked you three questions. The first question that was asked was, Why do you have blood on your overalls? To which you responded, No reason. The second question that was asked was, Why do you have a knife? To which you responded, You know, things. The third question was asked, I heard moans. What have you done? To which you responded, Sheep. After <laughs> Fuck, I hope he killed me. After what I said, oh my god, I can barely read it. I hope I'm dead. After hearing your answers, Michael decided to let you pass. This seems appropriate, as you let the previous farmer, Shawnee, walk past despite being covered in blood. And that draws to an end your involvement in this story. Thanks for playing. If you enjoyed this game, please consider please consider spreading the word on Facebook and Twitter. Moira was created by Chris Johnson, Brad Barrett, and John Ostman. That was an awesome game. I would suggest everyone play it. Uh, yeah, that was that was absolutely hilarious. Uh, go and play Moira. It was fun on a bun.